side. So tonight, the intake of animals we're learning is the largest that the nonprofit has seen in 2023. So this year alone, but they are asking for your help this evening. Our Tom Kowalski was at the Alanis shelter earlier today. Tom, exactly how many animals were rescued? What is the situation tonight? Well, Mike and Eva, of the 146 live animals that were rescued, 95% of which were rabbits, but there were a few cats and dogs in there as well. And now the shelter is calling for you to help, be it either through donation or adoption. 137 rabbits, four dogs, and one cat were rescued from a Butler County farm last week, with likely more to come. The animals were abandoned after the previous owner had died, causing about 300 animals to starve, according to the Anna Shelter. It was uh, a three, almost four day process um, because it was the rabbits, dogs, cats. It was a lot of animals. Most of them were rabbits, though, like you see here. Uh, Netherland dwarf rabbits, to be exact. So I've learned a lot about rabbits <laughs> over the last uh, couple of days. Ruth Thompson, founder and director of the Anna Shelter, was called on by the state police to a barn where the animals were found where she and her volunteers began the process of moving the animals to a safer and cleaner facility. I compare some of these places, and this being one of them, to as close as what I would think hell would look like. Um, so to get them out of that situation and to get them into better situations, I mean, that's why I started this place. It's, you know, needy and neglected. That's what the two N's stand for in Anna. So this is like the poster child for the needy and neglected animals. And Jessica Kellogg, a fellow Anna member who helped with the rescue, says the adoptable rabbits can make great pets. If you live somewhere where you can't have a little dog or a cat, and you're allowed to have a caged animal. Rabbits will jump up on your couch and watch TV with you. They'll follow you around your house. They're litter trained very easily. I mean, they're great little pets. You just got to watch that they don't chew cords because they're just kind of like kittens in that sense. But I mean, their care is fairly easy once you know what they're allowed to eat um, and they're really quiet. Now, if you're interested in adopting one of the rabbits, the shelter asks that you call them first. Don't just visit their facility. Their phone number is 814-451-0230. We'll also have that number on eerienewsnow.com. Live in the studio, Tom Kowalski, Eerie News Now.